employment and skills, two different um, lenses to kind of consider. From an employment perspective, actually getting the job, being offered the job, I mean, the number one challenge is, is bias. Uh, absolutely, it is, is bias, and that is still prevalent today. Um, whether that is um, uh, affinity bias, um, uh, uh, reward recognition bias, um, it, you know, it, it's, it's bias. It, it, it's just bias. Uh, that, that is that is the number one issue facing um, underrepresented uh, communities because. Simply put, um, you know, there is a, a population of people in positions of employment that are still fearful to give opportunities to lesser represented candidates because the fact of the matter is they haven't seen a candidate from that background, from a different ethnicity, a sexuality, someone with a disability, someone with a different sexual preference. They haven't seen that person succeed. Um, and, and then so therefore there's like a self-fulfilling prophecy in terms of well I, you know, I'll give the opportunity to someone or a candidate or perceived candidate that they know will succeed um, you know bias is, 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 is the number one barrier for me in terms of skills it's opportunity to develop the skills um, and that again is related to bias you know like granting opportunities but structured opportunities funded opportunities to gain critical work experience to gain um, pragmatic thinking logical um, problem solving solution you know, these types of things vocation and delivery um, is, is also uh, important the opportunity to stand up present yourself uh, these are the types of skills that again aren't uh, readily available, aren't funded, aren't supported, aren't structured enough, and, and as a result, um, they will then impact uh, the underrepresented communities um, without having the experience to develop in that space. So, yeah, that's what I think.